Hey, hi, welcome everyone. Welcome to Salesforce Tutor. So in this video, I'll be going to tell you how you can use end tool for the deployment purposes. So in my earlier videos, you have uh, mostly seen around the workbench, uh, different uses of workbench. And again, deployment was one of the feature of the workbench. But uh, if you use end, the deployment is pretty, pretty quick actually. And uh, there are a lot of other advantages which you'll come to know when you will start using end tool for deployment purposes okay so you would have seen a lot of videos guys uh, where uh, you know they have told you like how you can uh, install and but but you would not have be you know it would not be very clear how you would do that you would do the setup of this particular end tool i mean and so my target in this particular video is uh, you know telling you step by step uh, at my side like how you can install and and what are all the initial thing that you would require to set up end tool on your machine okay so first thing which we need uh, for the end tool is the jdk okay so first of all the, for the jdk uh, which we uh, you know we have to install jdk on our machine so if you see like uh, you know i have provided some quick links basically so again i'll be pasting this quick links in my uh, video okay so uh, if you uh, if you see this particular link so this will tell you so this is what we have okay so this is the version which i have downloaded at my site so you can download the same at your site as well jdk 1601 windows x64 bin exe okay so mine is 64 bit windows so i will be using 64 uh, bin dot exe okay so you can download this so once you have downloaded the java right i mean again for telling you the path where you would need to install the jdk is uh, you should install this in the jdk then program files then java and then here it should be the GD jdk okay so this should be the path of your jdk okay so now once you are done with the you know installing the jdk you have to set up the environment environment variables Okay, so if you see the environment variables, I have uh, created a new system variable with the name as Java underscore home. Okay, so you have to create a variable with name as Java underscore home and uh, it should point to your bin directory of your JDK. Okay, so this is uh, what you need to do once you are done with the JDK setup. Okay, so if you want to see once this is done, if you want to see like if you have installed java correctly so what you can do you can just type java java and hyphen underscore version if you will type this java underscore version it will provide you the version that you have downloaded java version and it's also compiled successfully that means like java is system is able to recognize jdk and and you are all good basically with the jdk setup at your machine if there is any error then probably you have done something incorrectly and uh, that is why you're not uh, you know java is uh, not able to compile and you will get some error there thereafter but if if you have installed jdk as per the instructions that i have provided to you it should be uh, pretty quick for you to you know to install jdk okay so this is the first step that we have okay first you are done with the jdk setup the second step is uh, second step is uh, installing the end tool okay so for installing the end tool uh, again i have uh, i have one quick link in for you so this is the link that we have okay so if you see here so go to this link again i'll be providing in the comment section of the video so if you see this particular link right so what you have to do you download this 1.10.10.zip file this is something that you have to use okay it requires a minimum of java 8 at runtime so our, our verse is 16 so it should we should be fine with this right so just download this once you are downloaded this right you will be uh, getting this kind of a structure okay i will be telling you how you will get it so basically okay so what you have to do once you are done once you are downloaded that zip file what you have to do just create a folder inside the C with the name is ant underscore home okay and paste uh, that particular downloaded file here so once you will uh, open this file this will be in this format okay so you will be having the pen file uh, etc lib manual you would not have sample file there okay so uh, this is something that there is a next step that you would need for the sample and the salesforce jar so so there is a third link which again i will be providing the link uh, in the video so this is the link that we have okay so third is this one so if you click here 
Okay, so this is what you have to do. Download this zip file of the Spring 21 and migration tool. So once you download this, the format that you will get after download is this. So you, this is what you will get. You get one sample file and you will get one and uh, Salesforce jar file. You will get one also help file which you don't need actually. So you can ignore that file. So these two files you will basically get. So what you have to do is just copy the sample file okay and paste it in your end uh, end underscore uh, you know home uh, folder and this uh, again if we'll go further here you have to point it like under apache end 1.1.0 right just paste this sample file here okay once you're done with just paste this sample file then you the other file we have right salesforce jar file so you got one and salesforce jar file so you just copy this file and uh, paste it at under lib here you have to paste this file here okay so if you see this is what i have and says for star file so you have to paste the end says for jar file here so, okay so once you are done with this step you have again you have to set the environment variable for the end tool okay so if you go to uh, system variable go to environment variables again you have to set up one system variable which is end underscore home and the variable path or should be uh, the, the variable value should be till apache end Okay, so once you are done with this step, you have to define one path variable. Okay, go to system, go to path variable and create new. And uh, you have to use, you have to just paste this thing. Okay, and underscore home to the bin directory. So ultimately, yes, your uh, computer, uh, you know, uh, your uh, computer is ultimately pointing to the bin directory. So, so this is uh, now you're all set up with the end. Okay, so just to test that the end setup is done correctly, what you can do is, Again, go to command prompt, like as we have tested for end, uh, you know, Java version. Now again, we'll test it for end. So type end hyphen version. Okay, so if you see end version, it will say Apache end version 1.10.10 1 .10 compiled on Apple. So again, your end got compiled successfully and there are no errors. So now you are done with the setup of Apache as well as the uh, JDK. Okay, so these are two mandatory steps that you would need for uh, running the end on your uh, local machine. Okay, so now again, if I have to summarize all of this information, uh, okay, let me uh, provide you the summary of what I have done so far. So these are the steps, okay, so that we have. Okay, so first of all, you have to install the JDK okay this is the path uh, where you have to we will get the jdk then uh, install the uh, the folder directory should be c program files java then you have to set up the environment environment variable with the name is java underscore home and this should be the path of your uh, you know java underscore home uh, variable so this should be pointing to the bin okay then you have to set up the end tool so the, again this is the link from where you can download the end and then again uh, there is one more uh, uh place you have to go to this particular link and then again download the zip file you will get the sample folder plus the end salesforce jar file so folder you have to again uh, i have already told you that under the end you have uh, where all your folders like bin or lib folder again uh, along with that just put your sample folder and inside the lib directory paste your salesforce and jar file okay once you are done with that uh, you know you have to set up your environment variable so for the end underscore home for end underscore home this should be the environment uh, you know variable and then again the last step would be to set up the path so path uh, you have to set up the path right so after this just set up the path and path should be path should be uh, let me just provide you that as well so if you go to this, uh, so this should be the, this should be the path. Okay, so path should be this. Okay, so this is what is needed. Okay, once you are done with all of this uh, thing, then uh, what you have to, what you have to know, like now you're all set up with the end tool at your machine. Okay, but uh, now how to use the end tool? That is the main uh, thing, right? So what I'll be going to tell you. Yes, in, this would be in my next video, okay, because again, if I have to tell you, you know, in this video, again, it will be a very long video. So what I'll be doing, I'll be just uh, telling you the, uh, how you can, uh, because you've already done the setup. Now, I quickly, I will show you basically how you can use end. But uh, if I have to provide you more details, I'll be going through my second video on the end tool, right? So 
so you as i've said right inside the sample file you will get this kind of folder structure where you will get the build.properties and build.xml file okay so build.xml file is basically the list will tell you all the list of commands that you can execute from your uh, from for from the end tool so one of the command that we have is uh, the retrieve unpackaged command so if you see this is the retrieve unpackaged command which we can execute for end tool so what it is doing it is taking the uh, from your build.properties file it is taking the username password taking the server url okay so this all of this information is the build.properties file and then what it is uh, it will be doing is it from your unpackaged folder where you if you have the package xml it will be preparing the it will be retrieving the list of components from the salesforce org and it will provide you the details in the folder which is retrieve unpackaged so okay in short this is what this is the command that we'll be going to use right now okay so if you see here right so this is kind of your build properties file so build properties file you have to set up before you use the end tools username so first of all you should know basically which environment you are using are you using the uh, you know the production environment or the test environment so if you're using a test environment use uh, test.salesforce.com if you're using the production url it's you should use login.salesforce.com okay so all your uh, dev uh, environment which you basically get uh, during when you sign up uh, for this from the salesforce and you is more it's, it's normally your production environment so you have to use login.salesforce.com and then uh, you have to use username here and then password uh, you have to use password plus token so password you know you can you already know how you get from salesforce and and token is something that you can generate from salesforce so, so you have to go to your salesforce environment go to salesforce or go to my settings okay click on personal okay so if you see here reset my security token so if you click on reset my security if you see here reset my security so if you click on reset security token you will get the token in your at your email id which you have sign, used for the sign up for the salesforce so once you are done with this provide your password uh, appended by the token okay once you are done with this okay this is step I'll go back and I'll tell you basically. So if you see here, uh, if, okay, so this is the uh, package XML in the unpackaged folder. This is a package XML. So basically what I have is I'm just having the custom object with the name as account. So when I'll be running, running the retrieve unpackaged command, so what it will be doing, it will be providing me this component in the retrieve unpackaged folder. Okay. So if you see here, I'm deleting this now. Okay, there is nothing which is present in the retrieve unpackaged folder. Okay, so what I'll be doing, I'll be running the retrieve unpackaged command from the end. But before you do that, you have to set up the path from for your end, you have to set up the path till the sample. Okay, so what I'll be doing, I'll be typing cd space and I'll be I'll be changing the directory to sample. I'll now this is set to sample. Okay, now I'll be running the command retrieve unpackaged. So what I'll be doing is end, then space, then retrieve and package. If I click enter, it will start executing this command. So it will be what it is doing. It is taking the package XML from my unpackaged folder and it will retrieve the components in the retrieve unpackaged. So if you see here, again, I've got this uh, object, right? And it will give me the package XML and the objects and object if you see the account file. So basically I have retrieved the account object using the end tool. Okay. So guys, this is, uh, you know, uh, how we can use and and for the deployment purposes. Again, like I have in this video, I have told you the process of uh, how you can install and at your machine, the step by step guide. And I'll be again providing all this information in the comment section so that it will help you, you know, for installing the end. And uh, if you have any questions on like uh, how, like if you want to know more commands about of, of using the end tool or if you want to know more about it, let me know. I mean, just share with me in the comment section. And uh, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Please do like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you all. Thanks for watching the video.